Hey my wonderful people, how are you doing? In this video, what we are simply going to do is to create a church poster or a church invitation design inside of Canva. Everything is going to be done from scratch. So make sure you're watching up to the end. So you learn everything. It's going to be simple, but very effective. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started. So this is what we are going to be doing but let me just show you how you can get the same dimension okay so coming to create a design you should see this pop up and all you have to search for is instagram okay so instagram you should see this instagram post four by five that's what you are looking for all right and um, the dimension is 1080 by 1350 click on it and you should get what we have over here okay so i would also just create a new page over here and let's get started first off press t on your keyboard for a circle and increase the size okay once you increase the size you can duplicate it again okay and just place this here then you can select the two duplicate it bring it to the bottom and duplicate it again and you can see we have all yellow but we are going to be adjusting the colors and at this point feel free to choose any color of your choice i'm changing the first color i'm changing the second color to this there's a third color you can change it to this or even to orange i can change this one to this or that yeah i can change this to this and i can leave this as yellow and we can see what we have at the moment come to element okay in element search for grunge okay so once you have grunge go into photos okay see all and we have so many images in here you can choose any of the photos you have over here just choose the one that works best you know for you and i'll rotate this to 90 degrees and increase the size okay so once you increase the size then come to transparency and reduce the transparency okay so we can have some texture to bring this whole thing alive okay to give it some mood some sort of mood and all all right so now that we have this press c again on your keyboard okay for a circle and increase the size with the circle you can change the color to any color of your choice okay because we want to keep things vibrant so once you have this i would duplicate it again okay place it on top and reduce the size okay so once you reduce the size you can change this one to white so this is what we have at the moment now let's go into find any photo we want to use. so if you have a photo of your pasta you can use it depending on what you want to use i'm going to use this okay so so that it feels like a casual sunday okay you know so we can we remove the background or oh, i'll just have to remove the background and we'll just keep it here like this since we want to keep things you know with the grunge and all of that if the footage is just like this it doesn't really add you know to the vibes so let's do something to the photo come into edit all right and go into adjust and adjust we are going to tweak things a little bit increase the sharpness a little bit okay so you can see what we have and the clarity also a little bit and um, we can also increase the vibrance also okay just to boost some of the low colors the contrast shadows i think these ones are fine maybe the black you can increase the black a little bit to 10 and i think this is okay all right now that we have this we can add our text so press t on your keyboard and we are just going to increase the size and you can just say worship with us okay so worship with us on okay so this is all what you need and you will just make this bold i would increase it to uppercase okay so make sure you're finding this double a over here okay and click on it to make everything you know uppercase and we can increase the size come to effects come to curve okay and this is what we have so with the curve you're going to adjust it until you get things looking good okay so we'll play with it like this you can see what we have okay so it means these two ends should come in a little bit so we will just nice one i think this is better okay this is what we have and i would want to increase you know the size of this shape a little bit so that we can have some padding 
all right so this is what we have we can keep this text to white as well okay nice one so now that we have this let's make sure everything is looking good i just hope everything is in the center okay i think it's good it's just because of how you know this gentleman is standing so now let's add the sunday okay so we we'll duplicate this just take off the kev to keep it simple take off the upper keys and we'll just say sunday okay and we're going to change the font or the typeface who we are using is the angelita okay so that's what we are going to use i will increase the size rotate it a little bit you know and move it to the top small okay then what we are going to do is to come into the text effect once you come into text effect we are going to use the neon effect to light this up a little bit okay now let's add the pastor's name so this sunday with you know so we'll just duplicate this text over here i'll also remove this from there and take off the bold and the uppercase and i'll just see wait okay then we'll reduce the size of this so we'll move it here we'll duplicate it and we'll make this bold okay and we'll just add you know the pastor's name so I can just see his name. His name is Pastor Daniel. So add a PS dot Daniel. Then his same name, G A L E G O. Assuming there's not a real person's name, I'm just using this name as a as a placeholder. Okay, and um, yeah. So we can also reduce it. Beautiful. And just move this up here like this, and reduce this one too like that. Now let's add a time and date, okay? So to make sure things are standing out, I will drop this, you know, the name down a little bit at least here so it looks better. Then press C on your keyboard. I would move it, you know, somewhere here, okay? And I'm going to change the color to this red. I feel this is the best color we can use, okay? Now we are going to add a time and date, okay? So we'll just say the service time, which we'll use this to do, so. We we'll bring it here and just say service time. Okay, we'll keep it all caps and just leave it here. And we'll just say maybe start at 9 a.m. Maybe your service starts at 8 a.m. We we'll just also keep it here. Okay, 8 a.m. And we'll just bring this over here like that. Juice it, make sure everything is looking good. Okay, then add a line by pressing L on your keyboard. Keep this here like this. Reduce it and we'll just keep it here all right then we duplicate this the date we can just see um today what's this date so fourth zero four slash you know slash zero four plus two five okay so this is what we have or if you want you can just do zero four slash zero four that's all because it's going to be this year so i can also just keep it like this and i'll fix this here like that and this is what we have. I can also increase the size. And one thing I didn't do in the beginning or for the initial design I did was we can increase the border like this and keep it white, you know, just to add some flair. Then if you want, no, not if you want, it's a necessity. Let's add the church logo. Okay, so you can just say church logo. Or I would even just pick it from the previous design. Okay, so I can pick the church logo, the sample church logo I did and a sample location. I just paste it here. Okay, so you can see this is what we have, but I will have to drop all of this down a little bit. Okay. Or just simply adjust. Okay. So I think I can just even adjust it to make everything look good. So this is what we have at the moment. And I think it looks it looks very good. Keep in mind that you would want to have margins around. Okay, margins around your design. Okay, so there should be some space. Is it it shouldn't it, your element shouldn't be touching the edges of your design okay so just keep that in mind and i think this is something beautiful we have been able to create inside of canva let me know what you think about this in the comment section below if you are looking for free templates in canva and also canva pro you want to try canva pro for free there's a special link i have in the description box below that can help you do all of that the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video peace